Hey, this is Mike, and I did a post here not too long ago where I shared a couple creative uses for slide transitions that came from Nancy Duarte's book, Slideology. So I'd just like to take a couple minutes here and show you how you can create this type of a, a panning effect in your articulate presenter content. So here is sort of an example of what Nancy Duarte put together using some just simple push slide transitions. And it gives us this nice panning effect, which in video is just simply moving the camera from one part of the scene to another, changing your, your field of view. Since in PowerPoint we don't really have a movable camera, we need to come up with another approach. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create the illusion of moving a camera by moving our slides and keeping our stage, which sort of serves as our camera, still. So we can get a little bit better perspective of this if you put the slides together and picture it, as you see here, as a scene that is moving across our PowerPoint viewable slide area. And when we publish that and view it, it gives the impression of a camera moving across a scene. So let's take a look at how we can use PowerPoint slide transitions to create that panning across a scene effect. So one thing I want to point out here before we get started is when you're working with transitions, this may be slightly different in PowerPoint based on which version you have. So I am in PowerPoint 2010 I'm just working on the Transitions tab. And one thing to keep in mind is the transition setting controls how one slide enters and how the preceding slide exits. So for example, if I add a transition to slide two, it dictates how slide one leaves and slide two enters. So you just want to kind of keep that in mind as we go through here. Now in our example, those all used push transitions, which you can see here, and you're going to get a default. The other thing to be aware of when you're working with slide transitions is that not all of them, but most of them will have uh, some effect options. So in the case of our push transition, that option is going to control from which direction is that push going to happen. So on this slide here, I can see I've got my little cheat sheet reminder that I want this slide to push from the right. And you'll get a little quick preview there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all my slides. I'm going to apply the push slide transition. And then I'm just going to go to each slide. I'm going to set the right option that I want to get the effect that we saw in our example. So I'm just going to run through here. I want that one to come from the top. And I'm just going to run through there and apply those. And once we have those all set, we can go ahead and we can preview that. And we can see how we get our painting effect. And the nice thing here about these is, is they all have elements that continue from slide to slide, which really, really enhance that impression of moving your vantage point across one continuous scene. The other thing here that you may want to work with, depending on your presentation and how you want that to do, so we saw the effect options to set the direction. You've also got uh, an option here to set the duration. So that's going to give you slower or faster transition. Obviously, a longer duration is going to make that a slower transition. So if I change that from a one-second transition to a three-second transition, obviously, that is going to take a little bit longer to progress from slide to slide. So if we take a look at that one, you can gauge the speed of a three-second versus a one-second transition. 
So just add any of the supported transitions to your slides in PowerPoint and they'll work perfectly for you when you publish your presenter course.